Hey, curious dude here with an update about Van Gogh. So over the last couple of weeks, you notice that the bus has been driving, albeit uh, dangerously with a known brake booster issue. So I've got some parts on order, but in the meantime, I've been tinkering on a few things. So come along and let's see what I've been up to. So first thing is you may notice that the bumpers look slightly different. Uh, there's a reason for that. So I removed front and rear and we did some, oh, ignore that truck. Uh, did a quick respray on them. Didn't really do any body work, just paint. I was able to source the correct L90 pastel white. In fact, I had four cans from another project uh, uh, years ago with our Gus bus. So uh, looks great, just sort of cleans it up, makes it look, uh, doesn't have your eye catch the, you know, the rust and the stickers and those sort of things. Uh, also uh, pulled off the propane tank and gave it a quick sand blast and just repainted it kind of the correct gray uh, semi-gloss, more, more, more of a gloss, I'd say gloss color. And so again, it was, if you look in the other videos, it was quite rusty and it kind of caught your eye. So I'm trying to do the least amount possible to the bus. I really want to keep it original, but things like that are really, uh, you know, just a little bothersome. Um, okay, so what did I do in the interior? Let's see in here. I don't think I've really done, oh, I did a couple things. So, you know, a cleanup, but um, these kick panels, the vinyl was pulling away from on the driver's side over here. So I removed those, cleaned them, uh, actually did a little vacuuming, you know, this dirt and dust that collects in behind there. So cleaned that all out. And then I used some adhesive spray and re-glued uh, re that back down. So that looks, uh, looks great. And again, doesn't catch your eye when you get inside. So that was nice. Um, what do we do here? Um, yeah, the stove top, the cover, this piece was actually broken off. And so it was just a matter of some wood glue and it's back in place. Uh, so that's looking good. Um, one thing I noticed is on here, it's a little difficult to see, but there's some glue residue of a, almost look like an eagle or a hawk shaped symbol on here. I don't know if the stove would have had a label for, you know, the manufacturer, if that's added on. I'm leaving, I'm leaving the glue on for now. Um, but if anyone actually owns a bus, I'm just curious to know if there was a decal that was on there factory wise. Cause if you notice like all of these decals, you know, are all, you know, and they're all over the bus, like all the original ones are in place. So I'm not sure. Uh, the other thing you may notice right away is that I removed the green curtains. Um, the original ones should be orange and it really bothered me that it had the wrong color curtains in there. And so I, I will order curtains. Um, no longer available Volkswagen in the UK has amazing prices and just first rate quality items. So I'm going to order some correct curtains. I have the original actually front curtain um, still with the bus, but uh, I'd like to get the correct ones in. Um, did a few repair issues too. So uh, this was held up with a coat hanger wire, this closet area. So what I did, and the reason for that is there's a, a molding that gets pressed into this groove Got a piece of it here I can show you. What happens, and this is constant, is that yeah, in extreme heat, you know, it, it softens up and then it cools and it shrinks. And so we get these bulges in it. And so the bulges would prevent the actual cabinet for closing. So for now, I've just removed them. There's a way to repair that, which uh, I can show you. So now, you know, works correctly. So that's looking good. What else did we do? Um, did some repair on this unit as well, the, the side out table. This molding uh, was, uh, it had the same treatment. It had all curled and, uh, you know, it was all like, was sticking off and there's some tape on it. So um, cool tip. If you watch back in my video history, there's actually a cool tip is that this is a, a rubber material. And so I just got a cup of boiling water and I took this curled mess and I put it in the boiling and it was not quite boiling, warm, very warm water and softens the molding back up and then you can press it into the groove. And I just put a little tack nail there for now to hold it in place. But eventually, maybe replace this all. But it's original with the bus, and so trying to keep it that way. So gives you a little look at some of the updates I've been working on. I also washed, popped the pop top, and uh, also washed the canvas a little bit. And just made sure it was a little bit cleaner up there. So gives you a sense of some of the things I've been tinkering with here over the last couple of weeks while I'm waiting for parts to arrive. We're going to install a new brake booster and master cylinder, and that should take care of that. And suspension arm, a steering damper, and a 
few other pieces I have in place. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, be sure to subscribe and follow along for more updates.